Most, most schools keeping children safe while they study is a top priority, but nationwide, 12 percent of students in grades K through 12 report sexual harassment by a teacher. WCBI's Victoria Bailey joins us live in the studio with the impact that sexual misconduct in the classroom could have on students. Victoria. Joey Andrea, sexual harassment is defined as unwanted sexual attention that targets an individual. And for students, that type of attention can create a hostile learning environment. You know, in addition to hiring good teachers, everybody wants to hire good teachers. We want to make sure we hire good people. That's important. Because uh, sometimes those two don't necessarily go together. Smithville principal Chad O'Brien says maintaining a campus where children feel secure is a top priority for his district. Well, I think that's number one, even above academics. I think having a safe learning environment, that, because if you don't have that, you won't have the other. And O'Brien says keeping predators out of the classroom starts with a thorough vetting process for each applicant. It, the process has changed a lot, but nowadays, the, anybody that's interested in education job, they go through extensive background checks, fingerprints, uh, all that has to be sent off, uh, criminal background checks, fingerprints, and it's about a two-week turnaround. But nobody has a job, no one is allowed to get within reach of kids, no one's allowed to start working until all of those security checks and measures uh, have been passed. Heather Ushery is the director of Sally Kate Winters Children's Home. She says your child's behavior can give you clues that something may be going on at school. If there is a change in a child's behavior, if they're normally typically outgoing and all of a sudden they're quiet and withdrawn, if there's a sharp decline in grades, or you know, um, if, if all of a sudden they don't want to talk about friends anymore, don't want to explain anything to parents. You know, it, it could be an indicator that there's something there to investigate. Ushri says that's where the services of Sally Kate Winters come into play. Parents can reach out to us um, to look for resources to kind of get answers for questions that they're having regarding their children. Of course, they can reach out to teachers. They can also, um, you know, a, a, Parents should always keep an open line of communication with all of their educators and also know that in, community, in, in the community, if they need additional resources, have additional questions, want to explore um, other opportunities, Sally K. Winters is here to provide services for children and families. Now, if you experience any issues with your child and the school, you're encouraged to contact the school's administration. Joey, Andrea?